are we are going to do abs today and I love doing abs actually it's core it's not just the abdominal muscles um, but first a quick little abs tutorial you've got your ribs up here you've got your pelvis down here the rectus abdominis basically connects the ribs to the pelvis if you think about this little point up here and the ribs down here it's a little triangle if you think about the pubic bone and the hips it's a little triangle down here too what I always want you to think about is pulling those two triangles together from the center point as well as from the side points that's the rectus abdominis it contracts and it releases it shortens and it lengthens now the obliques we've got two sets of obliques you've got the external obliques which is hip bone to rib and it pinches you this way I like to think about pinching my fat literally you're squishing it up and you're driving the rib and the hip together it's not just bouncing up and down that doesn't do anything it is squeezing like literally like you're pinching your fat by crunching third thing is the internal obliques and that's like this little X opposite rib to opposite hip so if you think about an X being drawn on your stomach that's that pull okay then of course you've got the um, erector spinae which holds your back out like if you're doing any of these moves that's the erector spinae in your back so we're gonna hit everything and you're gonna love it I have got a pillow just a plain old ordinary pillow from my bed you don't have to have it it's just a nice option and I also have a yoga strap which you totally don't need if you've got a tie you can use a tie if you've got a belt you can use a belt or again you don't have to use anything at all but we're just gonna hit all areas of the core so are you ready I love core work I love core work so much all right first thing if you have a hard time keeping the small of your back down when you're doing abs you can put the pillow under your hip to help hold it up okay so that just puts you in a nice neutral pelvic tilt you can also do it that way and you don't need it at all either hands behind your head I want you to just have dead weight in the arms now remember that lower triangle and the upper triangle you're pulling the two triangles towards each other now in all of the other six days you did a lot of abs and you did a lot of crunches so we're not going to spend a lot of time here this is just to kind of remind you where you're at okay and to make sure you've got good form small of your back is down now I want you to crunch and I want you to pick that pelvis up and under and I'm going to get rid of the pillow crunch it in and again it's just reminding you where the abs are and what they do two three now we're going to work some internal oblique and you're just going to cross it side to side nothing too hard you're not pulling up your head you're just floating up and down warming up that internal oblique now with your knees try not to lean them try not to flop them try to keep them just neutral and we're just going to do eight seven six internal only five four three two now get ready for some external oblique hold it up here take one arm down and literally pinch and up other side pinch and other side pinch and other side we're going to do some more external oblique but again I want you to get used to consciously contracting it four up three up two up last one good hold it right here I want you to try to touch those heels which means you really have to squeeze four three really squeeze two last one perfect go ahead and rest roll over all right we activated kind of everything now I want you to put it all together just right on your elbows lift the hips up you can do a full plank if you like but I'm gonna walk around I like 
like elbow planks, just because they're a little bit easier on the wrist. Now, you can see my feet from here. Nice long neck. It's just holding it. Two, three, drop it down. Pull. Now, don't move your body. And down. And down. Up. Two, three, down. Two, two, three, down. Three, two, three, down. Four, down. Five, down. Six, down. Seven, down. Last one, and down. Drop the knees. Press it up to your hands and knees. Cat cow a few times just to release the whole spine. Breathe. All right, we've activated all parts of the spine. Now we're just going to do a second round, hitting all of those muscles. We're going to have a little bit more. Again, I'm using the pillow in case your tailbone bugs you. Now, I don't want you really sitting, sitting on it. I just want you barely to have one edge kind of under your tailbone, just to give you a little bit of a protection. You can have this handy. You might want it, you might not want. Might not want it. Tip back. Now, find a comfortable position with those legs. Not too wide, not too narrow. Hold it in. Now, you've got a little concave here, but you're not like this, it's not concave in the shoulders. The shoulders are still pulled back. The abs are just scooped in and you're just being held. Now flex those feet, squeeze those legs together. Get some inner thigh going. Good. Hold it here. Perfect. Now just extend that right leg up and you can glide it in and glide those knees together. Glide it in, glide it down, glide it in. This is rectus abdominis, glide it up and glide it in. Drop it down, flex it, other foot right there. I know you can't see my knee, but it's tight. Two, three, it's tight. Three, keep them together, four, Good. Go ahead and drop it down. Press it up a bit. Now, what you might ask are we doing with the band? Same exercise. This makes it easier in ways because it gives you something to rest into and it also makes it harder because you can increase your range of motion with a little bit of support. Okay? So you're putting that around that right leg. You're right here. You're tipping back again. You're extending that leg. So you can squeeze and you can really pull into it tighter than you normally could. And then I want you to float it back down. So you're gonna hold it up. One, two, three, tight. Five, six, float down. Pull it in, one, two, tight. Three, four, five, six, and float it down. One, two, pull. Three, four, five, six, float it down. Last one. One, two, tighter. Three, four, five, six. Float it down. Other leg. Here we go. Pull it in tight. Two, squeeze. It's about deepening the contraction. Not about hauling your leg up. It's about deepening the contraction. Deep. It's also nice because it gives you stretches and it allows you to strengthen that upper portion of your back because you're needing to lift that chest. Two more. Squeeze. Lift. Last one. And you're using strength to lower it. Good, drop it down around both feet. Hold it low down here. Now, again, I'm really not doing anything on this. If you're tired, you can rest into it a little bit and it'll give you some support. I want you to drop and up. So you're just taking that small of the back and you're dropping it down onto the pillow. Your knees are together. 
your ankles are together. You're using this tiny bit of support to pull you back up. Okay? You'll know if you're using too much bicep. But this is a great way to just train your abs. Good. Hold it down. Good. Five, six single counts. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Come on up. Good. Go ahead and take a breather and twist. And take a breather up and twist. Now we're doing those internal obliques. Once again, I'm going to use bands, but you don't have to. I'll show you options without. Okay, so you've got your band here. This time I want you to just pull it right over to one side and hold it right here. So if you're lowering, you still have that little pull up on the side that's going to help. But you don't need any band at all. We're just going to go down and up. Go down and up. Go down and up. Go down and up. Now we're going to push it to one, two. Shorten your range of motion. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold it back. Four, eight, seven. Lift. Good. Come on up. If you want to do the bands on the other side, you can. Down and up. Down and up. Down. Up. Two more. Last one. Singles. Here we go. One. Two. Small range of motion. Three. Control it. Zip the thighs. Hold it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, chest up, seven, eight. Come on up. <sighs> Take a breather. We got those internal obliques. Now we've got external and then full core, and then you're done for the little abs segment. For the external, I want you to use one of your weights, or if you've never done external, don't do it without a weight, or don't do it with weights the first time just to see how you feel. You can either do it on your knees or standing, okay? I'm gonna do it on my knees just because it's easier for me to talk, but if that hurts your knees, don't do it. And if you're on your knees, be sure you're flat and lifted through the hip flexors. And I'm just gonna go with a light weight, okay? But if you're standing, it's just a soft knee and you're just doing it that way, okay? You can kneel on your pillow too, that's totally fine. All you're doing is drop down and up. Remember, it's about pinching on the bottom side, not on the top. So pinch on the bottom side and pinch. And up and pinch and up, pinch. Now with any of the abdominal exercises, if you've got some bulging discs and it hurts, don't do it. If you have any other spinal issues, don't do it. You can shorten it up. You can just be right here. As long as you're pinching, that's all that matters. Also, I'm gonna set these down. Sometimes it's nice to actually put your hand there ah, and physically pinch your hand just so you can feel what you're doing. Okay, so that's another option. Now I'm gonna pick up those weights, move into the next one. All right, so you're down here and hold it. You're gonna take that other arm up. Now you're pushing into that, up and pinch. Up and pinch, up and pinch. Four, and down. Five, be mindful, don't get sloppy. Six, 
seven. Last one. Good. Come on back to center. Drop it down. Pick that other weight up. Reach it down. And push. So you're pinching both sides of the waist. Working those external obliques. Four. Yay! We're almost there. Five. Thoughtful, conscious. Six. You're not just crunching and dropping, you're squeezing. Last one. Yay! Last set of planks. I am going to demonstrate in a full plank, but again, you can do it from an elbow plank too. Also, with any of the planks, if you don't want to add the arm or the leg, don't add them. Just work on your plank. Just work on building up, and that's enough. Okay? Moving the pillow. Moving into a full plank. Now before I moved the legs, this time, I'm going to try to just pick up the arms. Now see I'm rocking, which is fine because I'm getting used to it. But as I get better, I'm going to try not to rock, which is hard. Notice I made my legs wider. That helps. Notice my butt is Still sting down. Then, challenge move. And the other side. Drop it down. Take a quick breather. Couple of cat cows. Now, very last plank series. I'm going to put together arms and legs. Again, do what you can do. Leave the rest behind. Coming up, I've got wide feet. I'm going to try for the left leg and the right arm. Moving back slowly. Notice I'm not just clapping it down. And I'm trying to coordinate the leg and arm together. Even though it doesn't happen that way, I'm trying. And yes, my butt goes higher, but again, I'm trying. Good. Come on down on your knees. A couple of cat cows. And then your last thing, full plank or elbow plank, it doesn't matter. And just hold it. Full breaths, eight full breaths. Six, five, four, three, two, last full breath, drop it down, <sighs> come up, now, should have some, some tension in the shoulders, some tension in the neck, and that's normal, but just try to keep the neck as relaxed as possible. Try to keep all the firmness in the core. And yay, that's your 19 minute core segment. So enjoy it, you can do this one, oh my gosh, all the time. Pretty much every day, every other day would be fantastic. Thank you, bye.